So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a gingerbread house using our gingerbread house kit. First thing I'm going to do here is roll out my gingerbread. Now we've made this following our recipe on our recipe card, which is available from the website. So it's been in the fridge for an hour. So it's had chance to settle already. If it gets sticky at all, just take a little bit of extra flour, pop it over the top like so, and just roll it out. We don't want it to be too thick. Um, we don't want great big thick walls on this, but likewise, we want them thick enough so that it can actually stand up. So we'll just roll it all out, then we'll get ready to cut it out. So the gingerbread house consists of five parts. So that's the front and that's the back. That is the roof, that's the side, and this is the door and the window option if you wish to use that. So sometimes I've cut them out, sometimes I've just marked them. So I'm going to show you what to do. So all I'm going to do is take hold of my cutters and I'm going to cut them out. Again, just press down, wiggle them around, take them out from under there. And then we're going to pop them onto our baking tray. So we'll bring that in like so. Just carefully lift them out. And what you want to do is make sure that you don't distort them too much because otherwise it won't fit very well. So it's very important that they don't stretch between the um, surface and the baking tray there. So you need one back, one front. Now you're gonna need two sides. So again, just press that down. So you need two of those. And then you'll need one, sorry, two, You'll need two roofs, not one. That wouldn't work, would it? Two pieces for the roof. Again, just make sure you keep them straight as you can. Pop them onto your baking tray. And then if you wish to cut out a front door, you can do that as well. Just take hold of that and then just pop that onto your baking tray. Now, if you want to mark your windows on your side of your house, you can take your cutter. You can either cut them out, but I think it interferes with the structures. So all I'm going to do is just literally press them down and just mark it like so. And I'm going to do the same with this one as well in the middle. So I'm just going to put a little hint of a window in there for decoration. Just keep an eye on the fact that it doesn't actually change shape because that's not going to help you. So if you find it sort of started to spread, just put your cutter back on again and pull it back into line. This one here at the front down the bottom here, you can, if you want to, cut out two front doors, so, so two back pieces like that. And instead of having the opening like that, you can give the impression that the opening is there by doing the same thing with that. So you can just press that down and that would look like then a front door. Okay, we're going to assemble the gingerbread house now so that's the front part there this is one i've just marked the door on so what i'm going to do i've got a piping bag here with some royal icing in it so i've got piping nozzle um, 18 so i'm just going to literally just pipe a little bit of a shell just down the two sides there like so and then i'm going to stand it up now there's two thinner pieces which i've marked the um, windows on so again i didn't cut them out i just marked them and i'm just going to place those standing like this so what you will need to do with your gingerbread house is you'll need to assemble it and then you'll need to leave it to dry uh, otherwise if you try and pick it up while it's still drying you're going to have a bit of a problem so if i turn it around like that you'll be able to see what it's doing hold it steady like that and then again on this side i would just put the icing going up the inside here both sides and then just put that in together once you've kind of got that bit set up it tends to start to stabilize a bit better so you can sort of push it together and hold it for a minute and then you'll find that it will stand still. Now, if you want to tidy up the edges at all, you know, if you want to do some piping later on, you can just clean that up now before it dries, or you can just leave it, it's entirely up to you. I am going to over pipe it, so I probably will just tidy mine up quickly, and then we're going to put the roof on. So for the roof, I'm just gonna take my piping bag again, and I'm just going to pipe just down this side here on both sides. I'm also going to run a little bit of icing along here. Like so, take hold of my one of my roof panels and just pop that on, like so. And then I'll just turn it round. Now, before you let it settle, just make sure 
that these side pieces here have not collapsed. So just use your finger, pop it inside and just make sure that it's standing okay. And then I'll turn that around like so. And we'll do exactly the same again. So I'll we'll just pipe down the edge here. Don't have to do anything particularly um, complicated, just as long as it's got some royal icing on there. And then we'll take the other piece of roof and then we'll pop that on like so. There we go. And then once the actual structure's built, I'm just going to leave it to dry. Then I'm going to come back and decorate it.